Hi everyone, Messi Coder back again with another part of my sci fi face off. This time with Dot Team Sci Fi Heavy Station Kit Colony, and it's $29 on the asset store. And you're getting 405 prefabs in this pack. In the last video, we played about with the Heavy Station Kit base, and that was also $29. And guess what? You're in with a chance to win not only a copy of the Colony pack, not only a copy of the Heavy Station Kit base version 2 but also we've got a copy of version 1 of the Heavy Station Kit Base to give away as well. That's only $19 on the Asset Store. How can you win a copy of one of these wonderful assets? Well, watch this video and you'll find out. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a second. Hi everyone, Messi Coder back again with the next part of my Dot Team sci fi face off asset review. This is the sci fi heavy station kit colony and it retails at $29 on the Unity Asset Store. Be gifted this copy of the sci fi heavy station kit. Thank you to everyone in my wonderful Messi community who loves to manage to get hold of gifts for me and all these asset developers who don't mind me reviewing their stuff and ripping it apart on these videos i try to be as helpful as possible and actually with this developer he's been very receptive to my feedback and has been updating textures and height maps and since then i actually do feel like this is a massive improvement over the original height maps which are available on the next updates that are going to be on the unity asset store even without height maps i do think that these assets look beautiful and the normals in themselves do a good enough job. Ow, oh, my ears are blown. Hang on, let me get out of that. Oh, my word. Let me put my speakers down to there. And I think with you guys, if I change it on the microphone settings uh, and put that down even further, I should be okay. Oh, that was painful. Let's do this again. That's better. My ears are safe. So this is a demo scene for the colony pack. You get a few demo scenes in with this package. You look a little sneaky peek, a little spoiler, what you're gonna see around the corner. As with the last pack we looked at, the uh, heavy station pack, the textures are lovely. Like I mentioned, the original um, high maps I thought were a little bit aggressive. He's toned them down. And as such, I think it just feels very real. Uh, we've got lovely scratches and dirts on there. I think like, it could be a little bit higher res in places some of these um we do have a little bit of see so yeah, a little bit of noise going on there well that's about the most that i could find for these textures and there's a lot of detail going on in these textures look at the ceiling look down on the floor let's go inside our magic doors i do feel like i'm a little bit low down though like you know if that's the handle of the door, I don't know what they are. I do feel like I'm a, bit, a little bit short. So maybe, I don't know, the door could be lower for that part. So you're not stepping over it. Let me put here, exit, check your gear, check it. Look up here, look at this. All these little bits of detail. Control shift P, let's control shift P ourselves. We do get this little player controller that you do need to put the standard assets in it's an addition to that and look at that a little components here that you can add so it does make your ceilings come to life I do love it love that because normally in other assets you look up and it's all just bland and there's a little bit of detail put on the ground but when you look up they just kind of forget about it not in this one a lot of detail going on up here one thing I would say is I didn't realize that there was glass here. I thought it was a sheer drop, but there's glass. So what I would say is, um, and I've paused it now, so obviously these changes won't stick, but if I go over here, open up the glass, and let's say for that to, like a bluey thing like this, and likewise with this glass, let's go bluey like that and then if we go back inside now 
Now you see, I won't just fall through it, I can see that there's something there. So that's like, you know, the only don't go over there, you crack your head open. So if I push in. That's loud. comes up here and we could also um, control shift P there and let's consoles elevate well be it'll be the elevator I'm assuming platform where's these there we go elevators and sound elevator sound so we could just lower the volume. Wow, it was a max on those. So, sound. We can grab all of those and put the volume down about there while we're playing about here. That's better. Computer, like with the other one, we had um, animations going on the computer. I like it. It makes it feel like it's actually doing something. Maybe could have been a little bit more random or bit animation go for a little bit longer so it doesn't feel like it's just three seconds on loop but it's better than nothing and also I like these little things here you get on the walls these little computer screens look at the TVs over there with the flickering going on now that happens because the uh, the screens go at different Hertz or something then you know I can't remember what exactly but it's different resolutions then you've got in the video camera so you can see that it's how many frames it was it used to be 30 frames a second 24 frames a second and then <laughs> little effects here on the TV to make it look like it's some weird dodgy cameras here it's the future it's supposed to look good but everyone remembers how bad the computers looked in the alien movies. These little cabinets here. Let's go to our little man. These little cabinets. If you click on them, you'll find these cupboards rather. They can't be opened. Which is one of my little hates against. Yeah, you know, it's just a little one. Pet hates. If I've got a cupboard, I want to be able to open it. They can't be opened either so a little bit annoying they can't be opened let's go into this room in here this is the toilets lovely plants to you know while you're having a wee wash your hands are these able to be moved let's have a look can we use the taps can we use the taps? Let's see. Um, yeah, you can use the taps. So that's cool. Again, cupboards that don't open. And we've got showers. Now they've got the blue glass because I've changed that texture. Cool. That'd have been weird if you couldn't see. However, I'm thinking about it, if you use this shower, you're just going to get water all over the floor. So, what I would have done, and what you can still do, is, let's have a look. Yep, see that glass there? Yes. So, if I duplicate that glass, and now, if we rotate it, so here we go like that if I had it a script on this and now I'm in here having a shower the water's not going to go out everywhere well you know come out through that little hole there and then when I finish my shower beep I can go out so that's what that needed that's what that needed a little door on the shower Otherwise, you're just going to be getting everyone wet because you wouldn't have carp. You wouldn't have these little mats here, because then they're going to get all wet and soak, soaking and start smelling a damp. And you'll get mold growing on them. It's disgusting. You don't want that in the future. Let's go over here. 
Nice little walls. Again, nice effects, nice textures. A bit loud. And we've got open plan toilets. So while you're doing your business and you're using the B day in the future, everyone can talk to you. I'm not too sure that I like the future, to be honest. Not too sure I like the future. And is that for sitting on or standing up on? Because that looks like it'll be uncomfortable. Now these, no, see, look, these are the standing ones. These are your aisles. And there you're sitting. So this is obviously the males. And this side is the uh, females. Or actually, to you know, to want for a better word, the standing and sittings and sittings only. Okay, let's talk, let's say it like that so we don't get in trouble. Right, what have we got over here? We've got some beds and boxes on the floor. So look at those, what are those boxes on the floor? Can we open them? They are containers that can't be opened. Okay. Let's have a look here. Cupboard. Subboard. Cupboard. No, none of those cupboards can be opened. Well, that's annoying. We've got a tablet, and I'm not keen on that. I'm not keen on that. Uh, a, a tab, a, a laptop that you can see on the other side of. And look, see, that's that's data protection. That is, that is not secure whatsoever. Not keen on that. I like the little sciency looking. Um, magnifying glass thing we've got here a bed that is going to go inside this medical chamber thing and they go do 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 Star Trek style diagnostics these are where people are being treated and recuperating I'm imagining and another one of these do 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 Star Trek style and, um, beds and this is where the Oh, this is going to tell you this is where the doctor sits, but no, this is another chair where people would probably sit in and have things do happen to their heads. Nice little sci-fi room. Nice sci-fi medical lab here. Now, this is a nice put together demo scene, because obviously this is modular. You make this yourself. So a lot of thought's gone into this one. A lot of props in here. However, more thought went into there than the toilets, I imagine. And then we've got this room where everyone sits down looking at what each other have got on their screens because you can see their laptops. Got it here. Nice walls. Again, the textures. All right. Um, just a little bit on a higher res there. We've got here two, four, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Charge. Ooh, here. Plug things in. Let's get charging. Your futures jump. Okay. Not sure what that means. We can always edit that in our favourite editor. So let's go downstairs. Okay. Zero uh, to nine above ground floors. And minus one to nine underground hold shift so if I push nine there's nothing in nine eight seven six five four three two there is a plot there is a two okay oh there's laser beams here wonder if I can turn those laser beams off no that's for calling the platform so how do we get through there without getting electrocuted? Ah, oh, electrocuted! So we get a little spaceship. I was going to say, it feels a little bit like a 
inflatable toy. Not a bit very loud. I'm not overly clean on that spaceship, to be honest. I mean, it's nice that you get it in the pack, but it seems to be seems to be the weakest thing in this pack so far is that spaceship. Just because it just feels a bit plasticky and inflatory compared to everything else that we've got going on here. So we've got similar to like what we had in the previous pack. We've got these modules. Set, um, we've got here solar panels. Same solar panels that they got up there. And we go over onto this side. What have we got? Oh, let's have a side of that room. Can we use this? No, we can't, but we can just add that script on on there. And over here, we've got. What can I get through it? Oh, so we got dishes on the other side. Wonder if I can. Should we try and jump that? Let's not. Let's not jump over because we'll end up getting ourselves stuck. Let's use it. Let's go the proper way around. Okay, so let's go back in here and go to the first floor. Boo, boo, boo. There's a lot of stuff going on in this demo scene. There's a big globe. The world is not enough. Bedrooms. Oh, I don't have access to that bedroom. Oh, I don't have access to that bedroom either. That side, we can go outside here. We can see you in through the window. Hello, I can see you. I hope he's got curtains. Electronic curtains that he can pull. There's another hallway we can get to the other side. What about in here? Yeah, this must be our bedroom. So we've got these cupboards that can't open. We've got a little table. Knives and forks and a little holder there. Our window, so we've got a view out onto the world. Our little garden in our own little bedroom, that's nice. Everyone wants a bit of fresh air to breathe. And a bed that's made up of lots of small little pillows. I'm not keen on that. These are the same pillows that we saw on the other chairs. It'd be nice just to have a different type of pillow, different like a mattress, a proper mattress here. Not just these little cushions. Give us a proper mattress in the future, please. It's hard enough living in this little colony ship. We don't even have a proper mattress to lay on. Alright, let's go through here. Like that. So you could do a lot with this. It doesn't just have to be a colony. This could be a spaceship. Because it's very easy. It could be a spaceship, not just a colony. Or underwater. This could be like, you know, deep blue sea or something under, under the ocean. And we've got the server room. Wow, little power coils going here. This is nice. Plasma conduits. Again, a lot of the same models and prefabs that we've seen in other rooms, but you can just rearrange them and really makes it feel like there's a lot more going on. Very loud. Got here. Another room made up of these same desks, just rearranged. And before we go down these stairs, Anything else we missed? Probably, because there's so much going on. Let's go down these stairs. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Here we've got another room of server equipment. Can we go out there? Oh, that's another entrance. Cool. Lost sea area. This is the captain's room, maybe? Or the engineers? This is, yeah, this is like the engineers. How can I take any more, Captain? Scotty, she needs to go faster. Look at these here. We've got even these things. Can we pull them out? Can we pull them out? Let's see if we can pull them out. Want to see. It's not set to static, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, let's 
Well, they're not. Oh, they, they, there you go. Can. How deep is it? Hmm. Could come out a little bit. Alright. Damn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not an escalator. Let's get out of here. Um. Oh, that way. It's very loud. That's better. Tap, tip, tap, 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 tap. In the future, everyone has high heel shoes. What's in here? Another bedroom? Is this the same bedroom we played about? I think it might be the same bedroom we played about before. I can't go into those ones. Another bedroom. Another layout of a bedroom. This one's got two beds right next to each other. Smaller bed. We've got diesel, whatever people drink in the future. And, ooh, ventilation shaft. So this is another thing this kit comes with. This ventilation system that you can build. So reminds us of that alien game that we played. What's going on? Where are we? Where are we going to come out? A bit shot. I mean, odd we've got this little light shining in here. So if it's not there, then I turn around and it's there. I don't get it that view. And there it is. So let's go. Ooh, it's another way down. Wow. Which one was this? This was... This was the medical room that we were in earlier. I didn't even notice it was there. <gasps> Ooh. What else is it? I can't go up there. Oh, no, we can. What about in here? Are we... Let's go down. Ah! Oh! Broke my legs. Right here. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, look at this. Wow. Okay, we're out in this little garden, downstairs garden area. <laughs> Lovely. What are these trees like? Eh, they're not too bad, to be honest. Unity trees. Nice little touch to add. You got some rocks and trees in this pack. We got more nature stuff than we did in the last pack, that's for sure. And we've got different types of green fluidy bottles and tables. I would like to we got knives and forks, little trays. I would like to see a bit more props on that, but as I say, this is very cheap on the asset store. To to imagine that you get all of this for $29 on the asset store is actually very cheap for the amount of stuff that you're getting. Let's let's get out of this and go to the next demo. So what have we got in here? I click play. And let's go inside. This one's got a floor. This is the, probably the one I've been. As we said, it's a completely modular. Oh look, we've got blinds. Oh we have got some blinds. And if I go to these blinds. Our, no, see like these, these would be good if you could open and close them, but um, jalousies, right? You could do them individually. You could build them yourself because you've got here all the components for them. So you could put this down which is your top and bottom and then you could put each individual one on there yourself if you really wanted you've got this one which is already closed and you've got that one which is open but if you wanted to have it so you could open and close it you can do it it has given you the pieces for it so you can't really complain too much it just hasn't done it for you it hasn't held your hand and done it but it's 29 quid now, these beds. 
because there are there is a kitchen we'll go over here which does have some cupboards that you can open and close what's this one is this a bedroom can't be that is that's a who would have this in their bedroom that's a cinema isn't it that's a cinema like a strange you have your mates coming around to watch movies I suppose in these little colonies there's not much else you can do all right I love how these two this is modular and you can really just customize everything let's go in plop down here what's in here yeah this is a swimming pool that would freak people out wouldn't it you're having a swim and all of a sudden that great opens up look there's a can of, there's a carton of juice another little garden another odd sci-fi showers and toilets there we go and there's no privacy in the future in the future people don't believe in privacy I've worked out so whereabouts is the kitchen maybe the kitchen's not in this demo <gasps> here we go here's a kitchen we found a kitchen in the future again these packs are massive 29 bucks and it's huge now I don't understand why those cupboards pops we saw can't open but these ones can so if we've got um, these here if I open up the door see some things open some things don't this one opens up here these cupboards where are they these cupboards open oops the glass see it would have been nice if all cupboards open but the, am I being greedy I don't think I'm being greedy just finding little things little magnetic knives pinned against the, the walls space is a premium in the future I don't know why they've got locks on margarine or whatever that is so here's your labels separate object here so you can easily just change that to have different labels on there if you want you got a toaster we got a toaster and a coffee so we got we do have props for people living in the future you've got little stools but um maybe a, an add-on pack if he if he makes another pack so for another tenner or something 10 quid you can get more kitchen and household props i wouldn't say no to that obviously we've got here enough so we can cook a meal and eat food off a plate as well and i don't know what that is, is that a chopping board or is that scales no it says scales here so is that for weighing your food or for standing on i would have thought that would be in the bathroom odd strange so what do i think of this pack i think uh for 29 bucks 400 prefabs i can't really complain at all uh, i like the textures i like how it fits in nicely with his other pack they go hand in hand uh, i love this system here for using the ventilation i've changed the lighting and the textures but i still get these bleeding lights coming in so I don't know how to resolve that if somebody can leave me a comment in the description or um, in the comment section even and uh, tell me how I can stop those like I've put double-sided um, I've done I've done whatever I thought I could but I'm still getting those coming in so obviously I'm not doing something quite right I like this ventilation system I really do this is a nice touch it's very easy for you to build this yourself it's modular little pieces let's get out of this I just want to show you how easy it is vent so this ventilation system is if I can find it put it in here vent if I can even spell vent right ventilation so 
it's very easy just to snap these pieces together and make your own ventilation maze in your sci-fi spaceship or base or whatever need to give it a score need to give it a score little things those little things just stop me going up to a five to be honest little things stop me going up to a five uh, I, I like it a lot do I feel it's a five not just yet a little bit more work a little bit more work with finding the textures and I think we could be there so on that I'm gonna give this a very healthy respectable and I say this for the two pack actually which pack do I like the best out of the two of them I like the colony a bit more than I liked the sci-fi base um, just for the fact that I had like more props playing about I like exploring the sci-fi base as well so do I give these scores how do I give these scores in this sci-fi face-off competition that I'm doing um, well look at this cork down here so do I give it a score I think giving it a score is a little bit strange seeing as there's going to be multiple rounds I say does this go to the next round in the sci-fi face-off um, currently I think I'm going to tell you who gets through the next round when I've done all of them obviously because that'd be a bit weird if I tell you if this gets through to the next round now when I haven't even finished reviewing them all that would be strange so I can't really say that I can say is that customer support I think this is great customer support it does uh, listen to my feedback he has made changes bug fixes he's uh, made changes to the textures would like to see a little bit more changes done to the textures but uh, value for money is also bang on you can see that we get a lot of prefabs in this pack we do get a lot of value for money every time I go into another room I just see something that I haven't seen before these are two different well three different demo scenes we've got now have completely different layouts so what do I give it a score um, should I be giving them a score I'm gonna give a five for value for money I'm gonna give five for customer support because it was very quick uh, and great feedback on the customer support models and textures uh, models I'm going to give a four and a half out of five on the models and for textures um, I'm going to give a four and a half out of five on the textures as well to be honest so I would say I'm drawn between the four and the four and a half and the textures but every now and again I come across the textures that I go wow this just blew my mind and make really full triple A uh, like to see maybe a little bit more detail and a little bit more higher resolution a bit of higher quality on some textures so in general though I think it's pretty bang on pretty bang on animated textures in there that you don't see elsewhere on other packs really made me chuckle and made me smile just little things little things led it down from being a five like not being able to open all the cupboards and little things like that but hey you can't have everything in life if you could have everything then you get bored pretty quickly so this is very healthy entry in the sci-fi face-off the next one we're going to play about with is going to be from um zemo no next one we're going to do is red panda yes the next pack we're going to do is a red panda pack in this sci-fi face-off if you want to win a copy of the Sci-Fi Heavy Station Kit Colony that we've been playing about with in this video, which is $29 on the Asset Store, and also being with a chance to win this Sci-Fi Heavy Station Kit Base version 2, and also being with a chance to win this Sci-Fi Heavy Sci-Fi Heavy Station Kit Base version 1, oh my word, it's hard to say all of these words. It's hard to say all of these words. All you need to do is stick a comment on this video and on the first version of this dot team so both these dot team videos that we've put put a comment in both those videos a like obviously in both those videos and try to stick them on your tweet retweet them or put them on your facebook at me so i'll get the notification do at the messy coder in the comment 
that you're retweeting or you're posting whatever social network that you're using and your name will go down in my list and then we'll pick somebody we'll pick winners at random and you can be a winner of the sci-fi heavy station kit base the sci-fi heavy station kit base 2 and the sci-fi heavy station kit Connolly. oh wow those are amazing packs so remember if you do like these videos you want to see more to all of your friends your neighbors random people on the street about them and don't forget to click like comment and share if you want to be a winner till next time if you want to see more of my crazy videos click on the left side of your screen now and down below there's that big juicy subscribe button and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it it will tell you if i've got a new video coming out till next time